Hallelujah. Papa, we bless you so much for the gift of another beautiful day. By your grace, we are still alive. By your grace, O oh God, we live and move and have our being. Father, in you alone do we have ref- do we take refuge. May your name alone be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name. Precious Holy Spirit, we invite you to have your way in our meeting today too. Spirit of the living God, have your way so that we'll know you better in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? Uh, we take our devotional reading from Ruth chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. We'll summarize the whole thing and then we'll see what the Spirit of God has for us. Hallelujah. We've all heard about the story of Ruth. Ruth left the land of Bethlehem to Moab. His husband's name was Elimelech. So Elimelech left Bethlehem with his wife Naomi and their two sons to the land of Moab. The Bible says that because there was famine in the land of Bethlehem. So they settled there among, among the Moabites and Elimelech died. Naomi was left with her two sons. The two sons also married Moabite women. One, 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 one of the wife's name was Opa, and the other was Ruth. But after the death of Elimelech, 10 years after the death of Elimelech, that is within those years, the two sons of Naomi also died. Brethren in the Lord, as we all know the story, she decided to return home. When she heard that Bethlehem is now okay, the Lord has come to feed his people. So she decided to go. So she wanted to part with these in-laws. Yes, he, she gave them so many reasons why they should return because she's already old. And even if they should come with her and she gives birth, they cannot wait for those children to grow, for them to marry. So Naomi encouraged them and then told them to go back to their mothers. They all went. Opa went back, but Ruth did not go back. Ruth went with her mother-in-law back to the land of Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, Ruth at a point in time, told Naomi that she should not tell her to go back. Although for near King Yanani said, Now, baby, be your friend, Elimeleka, and Yuri, Eddie Naomi, and now Mukrom Bethlehem, and Omoti, and Okomba Honum, and Omoyo Margin, and Yombe to Queen Ako Moab, and T. Pape, Omoko Moab, and Papa could free me or her, and then she a duet, you know, Nan, and my mare, mammy, you know, so Omoka, who are Moko, you know. Mekane so mo so ware mo abofu o ema na mo pape wu ye no enfie edu emo no no mo mi eni ni nanso e wu wu ye Bible la nchwe ni e si ye mo mo e wu ye nanso na mi kongu se 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 aka ononko eni ni se no mi afei mi krom aye badle hamono e duani so abaho nchwe na ju so besi ako eno tu. Nessie de mofo se o san kon ma mi ni mo o ye ya o mo sun ye ni ade na opa e ma ni mi ni fra ba ko opa na ba ko se fra no root nti opa de ye o san ko ye na na o mi de o ko so a esun ye se eh na o mi en se me se me san en ko na me de wechi Ye share verse sixteen na or can say now me e catch now me send kasem mummy new wechi 
Bebi obe ko biya hona meko. Bebi a obe tina hona metina. Won kro fo be yemin kro fo. Na wo nyanko pon aye min so mi nyanko pon. Bebi a obe uwo na hona me u. Na bebi ebe siye won so no. Se o nyanko pon eni mi endi. Se me yi mi hon e fi. Se me chu mi hon e fi wo hon. Na afi na o mi hon se root ne ni abre no. So nene be kon wan kan fi bi yom. Adolf won si. Ruth Edinichi Ediko Bethlehem. Brethren in the Lord, all I'm saying is that Naomi told uh, Ruth told Naomi that do not tell me to go back. Do not ask me to leave you or turn back. Whether you go, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me severely if I follow anything but death to separate us. When Naomi saw that Ruth was determined to go with her, she said nothing more. Hallelujah. Brethren, Naomi influenced her two daughters-in-law for good. Her influence was so strong that she won the confidence of Ruth. The young widow left her own homeland, that is Moab, to follow Naomi back to Israel. In a marriage, all the family members should respect the bonds instituted by God. We should try to strengthen and not weaken these bonds. Naomi, Ruth, Naomi, Naomi, Na afe ye wune se root no ohu bibi awa naomi mu. Enti okan son ene be kone ma naomi msu jitu mu. Na naomi nya root mware she mu. Na afe isa e kuna fo abu fro kuna fo e yi anasa baba wo kuna fo e yi. Ofri ni kro mu mu ab na odi naomi e chi. Mi jidi se ne busu yon fo nsu be mu bibi pe fi naomi mu. I believe that the, the family of uh, Ruth also saw something good in Naomi. That was why they left her to follow Naomi. Just as Ruth also saw something great in Naomi. Unfortunately, we sometimes see strife, rejection, and hatred between mother-in-laws, mothers-in-law, and daughters-in-laws. Sometimes this, this strife is caused by a couple's childlessness, by financial difficulties, or by jealousy. However, when a marriage is founded on God's divine principles and upheld by all involved, the difficulties of married life can be overcome. This can result in blessing as in Ruth's life. Hallelujah. Other four, Nya Eye Ye Woman said, Do be a said ya Ruth ni Naomi ye ye. In Sinumo be your homo sorriti amun sinum, say a say a a ye bemano a yuri to me sorritia, a bemana mammy, son a bema mammy so to me sorritia, neba a yuri. Na eno na ye can say. A be a hobby for nays, Cassem, a be a hoa na, just say, or bano, no hoya ne he, say ya, mammy penny no, say ya, a ba you are no, or be a hoya ne young queen he, a fey. Ebi wa ne e ya hunchre bi anase aba wa sembi anase ka sembi ne de ntawantawa aba aware no mu na so senka ya makwa mo nyankopon anka sa o shisha aware na aba ya aware mu a enka ye be di sa ne me nyina so nkunim enka nse no mu nsori ntia nse no na ka somedue ebetena if you are a parent of children who are married you should work in a godly manner to make your children's marriages stronger. Older and younger members of the family should have godly, harmonious relationship with one another. They should tend to one another's welfare. In so doing, the family will be blessed to many generations to come. And it is a phobia or ma aware. Woo said the obeya wo hono, said the awu muni ebusiano, ever snas if a fair feno. And no, and a beboa, a ma, a ma you are, a beba, a real mono, a monster befa, yang, and cinema, and answer, ma'am, and cinema, sir, almost ma'am, menum. Your best dresses, ye did for no. 
mama ye nanti o nyame akwan so na asomo dwie enti na ye ma awariye mu no ma awariye enye from from na aya wo nto ato aso ade se ebusu a we die wo ware mu a wo wasomo dwie na ma emante ne maba wa enwane enfi awariye ho na emomo no motimi atena awariye mu so that the youngsters will not run away from marriage or rather love to marry because of the unity and peace that they find in their wife's family or somebody else family god richly bless you for giving way for the lord to use you as well to bless the younger generation if jesus does not come today we we'll meet tomorrow on the line when you mean say oba ye ntweso pa e dia ma omo omo be omo e ba isire ma omo be onyame nka ye nyina ye ho e wo yesu christ today bye bye